Hello everyone, this is PHTV4. I'm Sue Jankowski. Welcome to Meet with Moraine. I hope you know by now we do this show every single month and we bring chairs from departments from all over the school. We tell you all about what's happening there and great opportunities for you and your whole family, your neighbors, your cousins, everybody can go and take advantage of the great uh, school, Moraine Valley Community College. We're really fortunate today to have Beth Kelsinski here with us. Welcome, Beth, today. Thank you very much for inviting me. So nice to have you here because uh, Beth is the Department Chair of Health Sciences. And uh, she and I were just talking before we got started today at how important this is and how needed, uh, you know, more and more people in the health sciences. So this is a great opportunity for us to learn, like, what is all of the health sciences? What can you or someone you know get involved in, learn more about, and maybe have a career in health sciences? So um, I was saying also to you, Beth, this is, this is a huge like umbrella, uh, health sciences. What would that all entail? Uh, wow, it, <laughs> it entails a lot. Um, a, as of right now, Moraine Valley has six associate degree programs and nine different certificates that we offer in the health science field. Um, we have addiction studies, uh, health information technology, coding and medical billing, um, respiratory, radiology, phlebotomy, therapeutic massage, medical assistant, sleep technology, um, mammography, patient care technician, um, and also nursing and uh, basic nurse assistant programs. So, uh, it's it's a pretty big Huge, umbrella. Gigantic. I mean, it sounds like almost everything that we go and have a test done for somewhere uh, at the hospital or at another clinic or whatever, um, you can get some sort of training at Moraine to do those things. Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, so I guess what we'd like to know is um, you you get just say you have a young person coming in. And they want. It, they know they want to be in the health sciences. Maybe they don't know what they want to do. Right. How do they begin to sort through this? I mean, it's a huge list of th things they can do unless they had a specific idea. Well, I, I usually encourage students to start out with medical terminology because that get, gives them some information about the medical field. They learn about the different body parts and the terms that we use. And oftentimes, a lot of us instructors will go to the medical terminology classes and talk to them about our different, different programs. And then I will also talk to them if they meet with me or meet with another instructor about what we offer and where they could go with their careers. That's good because there's a wide open field for a lot. And unless they, well, I think sometimes we choose things based on what we know, but if we knew more, we might choose a different, uh, you know, a avenue to, to go in. So it's nice if they get that medical terminology and know something about it, particularly a young person may not know they haven't had a whole lot of tests or experiences mm -hmm. in that hospital setting or clinic setting. So that's a great start. Uh, so after that, are there, are there courses that they would take just like basic classes? Yeah, um, a lot of our healthcare fields uh, require um, some type of math, um, biology. Um, there's two courses that we usually require, um, a biology 180 and uh, 181. They go together and they're anatomy physiology. Um, and then usually medical terminology, like I mentioned before, um, those are main the main re like prerequisite courses that they would need, but there's also other classes that they would take if they were getting their associate's degree. Their general studies, their calm, their speech, um, their humanities, they would get those courses along with their degree if they were getting their associates. So would it be, so there are two facets they could do. Correct. They could get an associate's degree plus be qualified to do one of these jobs. Yes. Or they don't have to? Well. Um, five of, six of our degrees require an associate's degree or it's part of the program. Um, some of our accreditation where students have to get certified for these um, type of careers, they need to have an associate's degree to sit for these boards. So mm -hmm. nursing, radiology, respiratory are definite. You have to have an associate's degree to become certified. 
Um, they want a well-rounded person mm -hmm. um, in the field. And and people qualify to move up in, in the, the field too into management positions. So they, they encourage even going farther than that. Yes, so it's just good to have that background, especially if you're a young person, yeah. you know, to start out. And uh, so they could get like a certificate for like radiology or, or um, therapeutic massage or whatever, mm -hmm. and then they could go do that without having that two-year degree. Well, radiology, they would definitely need that two-year degree. Okay. Um, but therapeutic massage, um, phlebotomy, medical assistant, um, I'm trying to think, sorry. No, uh, no, that's okay. Medical, oh. medical oh. billing and medical coding, those are all certificates where they're shorter period of time, mm -hmm. people could get into the career field easy, and then they can continue their education and finish that associate's degree or go for a higher degree. Okay, so there are little opportunities if you're someone who wanted to start work right away. Yes. Um, how long would that, for the non-degreed, um, opportunities, how long would it be just to get the certificate and start a job? How long would they be in a class? It, it's usually two <coughs> to three semesters, so a, a, usually about a year, um, maybe shorter. Uh, phlebotomy is two semesters once you have medical terminology completed. Um, I know um, medical billing, you can be done in a year. Medical assistant, you can be done in a year and be in the field working. Um, they obviously talk to the students about completing their associate's degree because we're always encouraging that, but um, they, it, there's also um, addiction studies has an associate's degree, but that one also has a certificate where it has a couple extra clinical time that you need to get, but you could get an, a certificate, start working, and then continue on. Okay. I think... Um it's always best to go uh, full on and get that right. uh, t two years of schooling in. Um, do you find that after the two years that a lot of your students think, you know, I should go on to do, you know, go to a four-year school and, and do more? Um, I think it's a mix. I know some students that, you know, just finish and they continue working and enjoy their job. That was my original plan, but it panned out differently. Uh -huh. um, but like I know for nursing, they encourage uh, the students to get their uh, bachelor's um, and even go on to for their master's, become maybe nurse practitioners. Um, radiology, a lot of students will continue their education um, adding certificates like mammography or CT, MRI, they can go into other fields within radiology. Some of them continue on and get a bachelor's degree and go into management or teaching like I did. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, It's a great place to start because you might have an idea. I, I think that's true with a, a lot of careers where you, you get started and you think, wait, I can do more. I'd like to learn more. I right. maybe the doors would open a little wider for me if I had a little more uh, schooling or got more certificates. Uh, once people start in something, like say they wanted to radiology, have they do they have that idea to start with, or do they just think, uh, okay, that seems like suitable for me. I would, I would do well with that. Or do they kind of switch gears sometimes in the middle? Sometimes they s switch gears. Um, healthcare isn't for everyone. Um, most of the uh, degrees and certificates that we have are very patient forward um, career fields. You have to touch patients, you have to be caring, empathetic, you have to interact with people on a daily basis. So it, that's not for everybody. We do offer um, two certificates and um, one degree that's behind the scenes. Our medical billing, our medical coding, and our health information technology degree um, are all behind the scenes. They take care of the billing, the coding of the charts. They're the, the keepers of the medical records of the, the health information. So um, you can, in that degree, you don't have to touch patients or be in contact. You're still interacting with, with patients, with staff, but you, you don't get in, 
um, exposed to blood and body fluids. <laughs> well, you know, that's not for everybody. And um, I, I think it's nice that there is like a little division, like you wanna be in healthcare, you like to be in that setting, but you're not somebody who maybe feels you have that kind of personality that right. could deal with that. And that is a special calling uh, for people. It's, it's um, you know, you do have to be caring and empathetic and compassionate and all of those things, regardless of which one of these things you're doing. Right. Uh, so you want to make sure that you, you, the person learning to do it, are comfortable mm -hmm. and uh, you're doing a great job for the people you're caring for. Correct. Uh, is there like um, like a little class like to kind of help people sort that out? Are you that kind of person or um, not? So I know that they have a class at Moraine. Um, they have a College 101 that kind of introduces students to the whole college experience and oftentimes they have the students take um, little tests to see where they might be falling into what category of career. Um, they even have people come talk. Many of us have gone to talk to College 101 classes. There is a career development course that they offer. I'm not involved in that personally, but I have been asked to go speak with the students as mm -hmm. many of my colleagues have been too. Yeah, I, I mean, because I think that would be kind of important to help uh, people sort of, especially young people. Right. Um, so speaking of young people, I, I know there's a lot of people that decide midstream, you know, I'm gonna go back to school and I wanna do one of these things in health sciences, I, I want a career in health. Do you have a lot of, say, uh, older, meaning, you know, not, college age, right. uh, typical to college age students come in and learn some of these things. Yes, we, we have a, a good mixture of very young and some people that are in their second you know, string trying to figure out where they wanna go from there. Maybe they didn't like their first career and now they wanna change or they're having a life change and so they've decided to switch things up and do something different. So we have several different ages within Moraine in our healthcare fields. Um, I would say that a lot of times that health information technology is is more for the older people. They, they've they done with, with the the patients or people, and now let's let's get behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, but there's in many other fields, um, our therapeutic massage. Oftentimes, um, I can say that the instructor used to be a CPA, and then she became a therapeutic massage therapist, and then um, it's a big switch. Yeah. <laughs> and and now she teaches. You oh know. Oh my gosh. So. And that's oftentimes that we see they, they make a big change in, in their lives when they do come to us at an older age. Yeah, well I think that a lot of people get started in something as a young person and then later on they think, you know, I could do this other thing for a while. You know, life uh, changes are, are good for the soul sometimes yeah. to you know, make a change. Something maybe even you're better suited for or find more enjoyment out of, out of that. Yeah. And this is such a helping career and um, it, you, you really have to be um, special to be in these helping careers where right. you really want to be with people and you really want to, I, I know there's the you know health management with the health records and so forth and that's great too. But the ones that we are faced with all the time when we're having difficulties right. in our health are those people who are the helpers. Yes. We yeah. appreciate if they, you know, are compassionate. Right, uh, yeah. and and I tell my students even when I'm teaching in class, I teach for the radiology program, and I tell them you want to treat your patients as if they're your own family members, care for them, treat them with respect, um, no matter where they come from. Um, everybody needs that little bit of compassion, little bit of empathy, and especially when they're scared, they're in the hospital, they don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. So just a little bit of care and compassion and even a little side chat while you're doing their x-ray um, just to comfort them and mm -hmm. calm, them, calm them down. Yeah, that's great advice. I mean, even that little, like you said, the side chat, talking about well, the weather, anything, right. you know, to get your mind, uh, you know, kind of calm down. Uh, that's great. So um, with these different paths you can take, do they all kind of vary? I know they have to take the basic classes and so forth, but do the, does the length of um, learning vary from like radiology to phlebotomy or therapeutic massage? Are they all different? 
um, they are a little bit different depending on where they're going. Um, my, our degrees are typically two years. Sometimes it takes students about three years because they take a little bit longer to get those general education courses mm -hmm. completed. Um, and then they decide to go right into that healthcare field and focus. Um, but like something like phlebotomy, it's three, uh, four classes all together, and they can get that done in less than a year um, if they work a little hard. And um, so it, it just depends on the tracks that, that you want to go into. Um, Which one? Yeah. Yeah. Is, uh, is there a big need at this point for people in the health sciences? Uh, there's a big need across all of healthcare. Um, we actually get phone calls on the daily basis. Can you let your graduates know about these jobs? We have openings, we need you. Um, I still work on the weekends at a hospital around here and we're short staffed. Nursing, um, radiology, respiratory, phlebotomy, um, massage, even sleep technology. Um, they, they need people, they need um, caring, compassionate people to help take care of patients. and and they're really short staffed. Okay, so it's really a, a career path you could take and, and pretty much be assured of a job. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, all of our graduates in the recent years have gotten jobs um, if they've been looking at them. A couple students have decided to move on into different uh, certificates to continue into their education, but most students get jobs right out of school or have already had offered jobs before graduation. Wow, yeah. so that's really a nice thing if you're looking for a job. And uh, it's, uh, it's actually, there's so many different um, facilities to work at with these career yeah. Uh, opportunities. Yeah, um, <coughs> uh, graduates can work at um, any of the local hospitals. There's a lot of outpatient or emergency clinics that they could work in, doctor's offices. Um, so there's a variety of areas that people can work in ortho clinics, um, and, and many variety of uh, fields in those different er, um, areas too. So, so many. There's lots of opportunity. Yeah. And our students actually go to clinicals during the program. So they go to these hospitals and the clinics and the doctor's offices. So they kind of get introduced into the community already. And that's kind of how they get jobs before graduation even. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And it's nice for them, too, to see, oh, I really like working with older adults, or I really like the pediatric uh, yeah. experience. Uh, and that gives them a nice scope uh, to learn, what would I like to do? Right. Yeah. Um, there And like Christ Hospital has the Children's Hospital attached to it. Oh, we have, there's Lori's downtown that many students have gone down there, um, even for rotations for clinical, and then they get hired to work with children, or they go to Payless Community, where it tends to be an older population, mm -hmm. and and some enjoy working over there. So Wow, so lots and lots of chances uh, for them to do one of these things. Um, do most, um, do you feel like most people come in and say, you know, I just really wanna work with, you know, radiology. I, I, that's what I, I wanna do, period. And they don't do any switching, do they kind of, and yeah, that way a lot of them. Yeah, I, uh, if they are dead set on a program, they really, they work hard to, to get into it. Some of the programs are pretty competitive, but if they, they get good grades and, and work hard, they can get in and, and uh, get through the program and do really well. And some of them are just dead set. I want to do this. I know that's what I want to do. Um, and they stick it out and do great. So that's, that's wonderful. Um, so um, if they wanted to do any of these things, but were unsure, I mean, first of all, this is a great financial uh, place to go to to keep your costs down. So, yeah. you know, they can do that. I, I'm imagining there might be even some sort of scholarship they might qualify if they look into that yeah. and so on. Um, are they ever kind of sponsored by, you know, a hospital or, or anything? Like, we really want you to learn this, and then they're over there. Um. I, you know, we don't have those kind of sponsorships, although I know if they were to, like, 
get in the hospital even as a patient transporter. A lot of the hospitals will do tuition reimbursement so that somebody can continue on and, and grow in their careers rather than just stay a tra patient transporter. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but we need people to move up into the fields too. Yeah, but look at there, there's another uh, kind of uh, job opportunity that I didn't even really think of. Somebody's right. got to move these people around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. And I've had many of my radiology students be patient transport and then move into radiology. Yeah. So. Well, it seems like that might give you the opportunity to see some things and go, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. I could do that job. Definitely. Yeah, that's neat. Is there anything else you want to tell our viewers about this? How would we go about, you know, how would the viewers go about getting involved in, in the program? Um, well, to learn more about the program, they can always reach out to academic advisors at the, the school. Um, they can tell them about a little bit about the programs and direct them to the people to talk to. Um, our website has a multitude of information. If you just go to moravalley.edu and you could click on Health Sciences or type in Health Sciences in the search and it'll come up with all of our web pages with all the information. Um, if they want to hunt me down, I'm willing to talk to them about any careers and even direct them in the right direction. If, if radiology isn't the one, then I can get them to the other areas. Yeah, that's great um, because, you know, this is so nearby, they can uh, get going right away. And actually, if they wanted to get started on this, um, are summer programs available for this? There are some summer programs available. Um, I know phlebotomy, um, medical assistant, uh, uh, therapeutic massage, um, run during the summer, um, basic nurse assistant, um, addiction studies, they all run during the summer so they can start out in okay. the summer. Mm -hmm. Even if so a high school graduate graduates in May, they can start out in June and, and start get, get, get on the road running and, and start their careers. Okay, because I'm guessing right now would be a little late to start for the winter term or spring term. Yeah. Uh, you've got to kind of get going ahead of this. Right. So summer or um, look at the fall, you know, pl plan ahead. I think that's the thing too, you know, so many things are instant nowadays. Yeah. Well, this is a little bit planning ahead, you know, get this school, get your applications in, talk to the people, figure out what you want to do, get your money in order, and, and get started, but that could be the fall. Right, yeah. correct. Um, many of our application due dates for our special admission programs um, are usually in the spring. Nursing accepts uh, uh, students in the, in the spring and the fall, so they have two application deadlines. Uh, so they have more opportunity to get in there. Um, but even high school students right now, they can come in and start taking classes at Moraine at the age of 16. So they can get on board. Many of our local high schools offer a medical terminology on campus. So they can take medical terminology while they're in high school. And they already have those three credits to start continuing on into the, the program. Yeah. So it's great. That is great. And at that age, you know, you're getting started, you're whittling down the amount of time you're spending doing uh, the other, you know, yeah. longer uh, part of it. That's great. So they just need to contact Maureen Valley and they can talk to you, they can talk to an advisor yeah. and uh, get those applications in. Uh, Beth, is there anything else you want to tell us about the program before we go? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I would just say to future students, if you're interested in healthcare, you know, research, find out, you know, about the different programs that we offer or that other areas offer. Um, work hard, get good grades, um, because they are challenging programs and you have to pass a, on a certification exam usually with all of these uh, certificates once you graduate so you can work in the field. Um, but it is very rewarding. I've been doing radiology for 25 years and I just love it. I, that's why I'm still working on the weekends mm -hmm. besides working at Murray Valley. I just love my patients I, and it, it makes me feel good to know that I'm helping people. It is, and that's what's nice about a career like that. Yeah. You know, you, you get 
job satisfaction. Yeah. You know, you're helping uh, other people and that's something that, you know, can't be really measured except by yourself knowing that you're doing good. Um, okay, well, I think uh, people can get started on uh, heading out to Maureen Valley. This is a great job opportunity for you. You can go further. I think everybody wants a career that they know they can be employed. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if this is something that you're looking for, get on over there, talk to Beth or an advisor, and uh, get uh, your life organized that way. Thank you so much for coming in here, Beth, and telling us about all of this. And thank you so much for inviting me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I hope you make your way over to Marine Valley sometime soon and take advantage of all their wonderful programs. Uh, we always mention something great that you can look into. It's just nice to go over there. Um, you have a great week. Talk to you next time on Meet with Maureen. Mm -hmm.